Hi, it's Ramesha here with Vocal Bliss. Today I would like to share about something a little bit different. This is more of a personal experience that I had with singing that I thought you might find interesting. Right before Easter, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, on Good Friday, we performed in our uh, community where I live, our spiritual community where I live, we performed an oratorio. An oratorio is a, it's the story of Jesus' life all put into music. Throughout this oratorio, uh, I sing several solos, and many of the solos that I sing are actually words that Jesus said, so I end up impersonating him in many of the songs that I sing. Because of that especially, I take the preparation for this performance very, very seriously. We do this every year around Easter time, and I pretty much end up singing always the same solos, but every year uh, I feel that the preparation that I put into it is very important, and I don't just spend time working on the singing, on the uh, technical part of it, but I spend pretty much just as much time tuning more deeply into what I'm doing and the parts that I'm singing and the words that I'm saying and I really take the time to understand better and better as much as I can uh, what I'm talking about and what I'm saying which is very very deep. Those of you who have seen some of my videos know how much importance I give to singing with consciousness, singing with knowing that what you're doing is not just singing notes and saying words, but it's really conveying a certain energy, a certain vibration in what you do. So when I stand up to sing uh, any of my solos, I always, always ask God to sing through me. I, you know, I have no idea how to do justice to songs like these. They are so deep, so how can I possibly know? This is why I feel I need help to try to convey as best as I can that depth, that awareness, so that the people who hear, the people in the audience, can have an experience about something that is deep and deeply meaningful. There are two songs in the oratorio that are particularly deep, two solos that I sing. One is titled, Let This Cup pass from me and the other one is titled Thy Will Be Done and these two are songs that describe or more actually more than describe these are words that Jesus says in the Gethsemane just the night before he was crucified and so they're very deep and very intimate and there's a there's a real power in those songs that just give you a glimpse into the inner nature of a master like Jesus. Now, how can I possibly convey the depth of words like that if I don't ask for help? I, I can't. I mean, I can try to understand it on an uh, intellectual level, but more than that, I just can't possibly know. So this is why, as I said, I ask for help. But then every time, this happens every time I sing them, as I sing with that with that attitude of, you know, I am not singing, I'm just letting something flow through me. Bit by bit, it's almost as if the magnitude of that message unfolds itself. And I start to have a little understanding of, oh, wow, this is, this is what it is. And it, it's not just an, intel, it's not an intellectual thing, it's more like a feeling. You start to feel like, it starts like a little stream going through you and all of a sudden it becomes like a huge waterfall and it feels like it's completely cleansing me from anything. When I finish singing those two songs, I feel like completely empty, but in a good way, empty of anything that's really low and not, uh, not the most uplifted part of us. I don't know how to describe this, but it really gets rid of debris that are in me that I don't want to have anymore and just gets rid of it. And it's very purifying. It truly feels like I'm just a witness of something that's happening. And all I'm doing is I'm just 
offering my voice for this to happen, but I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm, I'm just as amazed at what is going on, just as anybody else who's not really there singing. I'm just, it just happens and I, I'm really in awe of what's coming through, but it's really, really not me. I, I just show up and, and the instrument is being used to do it. After the performance, so many people came up to me and us, not just me, saying what an incredibly deep and transformative experience they had. And to me, when I, when I hear people making comments like this, it, it really validates the fact that it cannot possibly be coming from us as singers. We're there, we try to uh, be channels for something higher, but there's no way something of that magnitude can be coming from us as individuals, as people. But because we are opening ourselves to this flow that's coming through, and it does come through, and then the real transformation can happen. And it can happen because it's from a higher source. It's not from us. This is how I see it. And I've seen it over and over, over the years. Uh, people coming up and saying things that are absolutely out of proportion to what I feel I was able to put into the singing from my own. It is just out of proportion. So it cannot possibly be me, us. It's, it's something else. And it's amazingly beautiful and it's amazingly powerful. I would like to encourage every singer to not sing from their little ego, but to tune into God, or if you don't believe in God, try to tune into your higher self, the higher part of yourself. Don't tune into your lower self, because if you do that, what you convey is just, it's, it, it's, not, it's not uplifted, it's not inspiring, and it gives a, just a momentary thrill, and then it just fades away as soon as the performance is over. But if you perform tuning into your higher self, you can give something to people that can last forever. It can literally change people's lives. They may remember that performance for years to come because it was such a defining moment for them. And mind you, this works also if you don't sing spiritual music or religious music. I remember years ago when I was singing with my rock band, I still, I already used to do this practice, which is before every concert with my band, I would take a moment to just go inside and I would ask God to sing through me. And I was singing rock songs. One time, a friend of mine came to the concert she has the ability to see auras and to feel energies, the quality of energy in people. After the concert, she told me that while I was singing, and I was singing, like I said, rock songs, she could actually feel deep peace inside. And she saw light coming from, you know, us, me singing. And th that kind of caught my attention because it told me that Okay, it's not just about what you sing, it's actually more about what you put, consciously put into the singing. And so, again, in whatever kind of music you, you sing, infuse it with something that's higher than you, something that's bigger than you, something that's transcending you as individual. If you watch interviews with all the greatest musicians on the planet right now, I remember Yo-Yo Ma, the great cellist, for example, talking about something like this. He used different words, but the essence is the same. They, they are there, they put their, themselves there as literally as instruments, but then something opens up and something flows through them and they can feel it. It's thrilling to you. It's deeply, deeply um, joyful. It just gives you a joyful, almost exhilarating experience. 
but the audience feels it too. And as musicians, as singers, we have this huge, huge responsibility. We're not just singing for ourselves. Yes, it's beautiful to us, it's fun, it's inspiring, but boy, we can do so, so much by opening ourselves to this flow and really helping people to feel this. This is what art is all about. It's about helping people get in touch with something that goes beyond their everyday life, their normal everyday routine, and just helps them have a glimpse at least of a higher consciousness, a higher world. And we have such an amazing opportunity to do this and to really help ourselves and to help others. So thank you so much for watching this. This, like I said, is a little bit more of my personal experience and uh, it may not be yours. You may not agree with what I say and that's just fine. Uh, I just wanted to share because it's, it's been, uh, I've been pondering it these last few weeks since it happened and it's, it's so deeply inspiring to me. And so I just wanted to share it with you. So do with it as you wish. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.